Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have a window licking more in court, trying to avoid an eviction that he brought upon himself, based on, by his own words, a flawed ideology. So let's begin. Hello, this is uh, Mr. Raleigh. Uh, I'm here I, on the matter. I, I couldn't see you. Uh, Mr. Raleigh, thank you for, uh, that was gonna be my suggestion, to log out and log back in, but you did use thank the chat. I am here on that matter, my honor. I, I am for the record, on the record, and uh, let the record show I am not a 13th Amendment uh, uh, free Negro slave, nor chattel, nor 14th Amendment United States corporate citizen. But you know what he didn't say he wasn't? A crayon eater. I am a national, I am a Moorish American, and I have standing uh, as uh, as uh, 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 ancestral uh, um, you wait you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything mr uh in moroccan empire the adjoining islands by inheritance but not by purchase uh, Moorish pedigree. I am competent. I am a and I'm liberated. I am all. I am I that I am. All rights preserved and retained to out prejudice or recourse. Certi certificate registration number AA seven seven eight six nine March twenty fifth. 1848 AD corresponding to the Marsh calendar 1368 copyright owner CM Bays clock of destiny March 25th 48 AD MC 1368 uh, certificate registration number AA2093 16 March 31st, 1952, AD, MC, one, uh, 1327, Masonary plus art, uh, astro, Astrology, History, and Geography, Clock of Destiny 2, reused re edition of the previous book of Clock of Destiny. Yeah, I need a copy of this Clock of Destiny book. You know, the one that allows you to not have to follow any laws based on astrology. I heard it was suggested reading by the Lead Babies of America Coalition, also known as Sovereign Citizens. Title 22, Chapter 2, Council Courts General Information. And Certificate of re certificate Registration Number AA2221441, September 8th. 1952, AD, MC, 1372, Clock of Destiny, Moorish American, all, 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 all Moroccan nationality, nationality card or identification with Zodiac Constitution and Certificate AA 222141 uh, 22, is the focus of the uh, a determination for the without a doubt affirming relationship of the relation relationship properly venue as law between the Moorish Franks and all for, uh, foreign Christian nations. Title Eight, United States Code, one thirteen uh, twenty four, federally protected Moors. Yeah, I looked up Title 8 USC 1324, and it is most definitely not a guide on how to protect the rights of pseudo-Moorish Americans. In fact, 8 USC 1324 doesn't even mention Morocco, the Moorish nation, or its citizens. However, and ironically, 8 USC 1324 does outline the crimes committed for harboring illegal aliens and bringing illegal aliens into the US. Being that you morons like to denounce your US citizenship, 8 USC 1324 applies mostly to your friends and family than it does to you dipshits. 
I just say about the Christian nations, what you just said about um, this only applied to the Christian nations? It says other foreign Christian nations. Other foreign Christian nations. What is a Christian nation? What is a Christian nation? Well, that I would not know because I am a Moorish American. I'm more into being related to Moorish American ideology. So now we're getting somewhere. You don't think you have to pay your rent and follow the rules like the rest of us because you subscribe to a certain self-destructive ideology. Not because you believe you have some kind of special Moroccan birthright or because of the treaty of peace and friendship between George Washington and the King of Morocco 200 and something years ago, but because of a dumbass idea. Also, the judge brought up a really good point. One of your defenses was that from foreign Christian nations. However, the United States is considered a secular nation, not a Christian one. So your arguments are invalid, they're not new, they've been used before, and they've never worked. So just pay your rent like a good human being. I was just trying to figure out, I was just, I was just listening. I was listening in. All right, okay. Well, I have you checked in, Mr. Riley. Oh my God, this was him just checking in. Okay. And, um, Mr. Dad, are you requesting legal counsel? Uh, no. Oh my God, just take the lawyer. Yes, Judge. Calling case number 23345509. This is Harriet Tubman Apartments versus. Brian Riley and all occupants. Good afternoon, Your Honor. For the record, Rania Haddad, PH4927, on behalf of the plaintiff. And, and Mr. Riley, can you please just state your name? Let's see, I want to prompt you to. A minute. Okay. For the record, my name is Brian D. Raleigh. Hello? All right. Yes, Hello. yes, sir. Thank you. Hmm. All right, have parties, have parties, were, were parties able to work out some type of resolution? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the parties have agreed to enter into a conditional dismissal with box 4B checked. Mr. Rayleigh's balance due and owing is $2,088.46. He will pay his, he, he's going to pay $742 on the 5th of every month, beginning on 5-5-2023. Um, that $742 includes his $542 of monthly rent per month, and then an additional $200 towards the balance. So he will pay on the 5th of every month, starting on May 5th, 2023, $742 until the balance reaches zero. Um, and then after the balance is zero, he will resume his regular monthly rent. And a regular monthly rent is 542, correct? Correct, Your Honor. $542 a month? An entire year of your rent is less than two months of mine. Now granted, that's by choice, but you have literally one of the cheapest rents in America and you're fighting for your ideological right not to have to pay for it. Is it still illegal in America to shake some sense into an adult? So $200 extra, is it 2088.44? It is 2088.46. .46. All right, and this 4B check? Yes, Your Honor. All right, uh, Mr. Riley, do you understand the terms of this agreement? Yes, I do. All right, if you make those payments, your matter will be dismissed in the event you don't, a judgment and a writ of eviction can be filed at the same time. We wouldn't have to come back to court. So uh, good luck, wish you well, 
Have a great day. Okay, so that's the end of this video, but I'm telling you, it's not the end of this story. Something inside of his head didn't click the first time when it came to paying rent. He only got that far behind because he has an ideology that he adamantly believes in. So I don't know why anyone would think that he would just pay more money while still holding on to those toxic beliefs. So we'll be seeing him back in the future for his eviction, I'm sure of it. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.